We're back, Commodore. What took so long? Any interference from the executioners? Yes, but we made it. Indeed. Glad to have you back safely. But first things first, did you find out anything? We did. There was a secret file concealed in my father's database. Is that so? My name and genetic profile were the keywords. I see. That explains why we could not find anything. What was in the file? The identity of these mysterious creatures that are attacking the galaxy and the Earth. Go on. They're the emissaries of the Creator. So you're saying it is the Creator? Nonsense. I don't blame you for being skeptical, but that's what my father believed. I suppose, after seeing what they look like, and their capabilities, I would believe that too. What they look like? Yes, based on their size, it's easy to see that they surpass Federation battleships in offensive and defensive capabilities, as well as speed. It's no wonder some call them gods. We have little chance against them. Commodore, we need to travel to the planet Styx, where we can enter a realm known as 4D Space, where the Creator resides. According to my father, it's a different dimension than ours, so time won't progress at the same rate as it does here. In fact, the concept of time itself will not apply in 4D space. We're hoping that once we're there, we'll find some way to defeat the Creator and save us all. But isn't there a possibility that by defeating the Creator, you will also destroy his creation and all of us with it? I don't think that'll be a problem. In fact, I believe defeating the Creator will free us from his hand and enable us to live in absolute freedom. That's right. And my father gave us the power to do just that. I see. Then we'll set course for the planet Styx. I fear the trip won't be easy. Are things that bad? Yes. The enemy has already reached our final line of defense. It is only a matter of time until they breach it. Oh no! Then they can't afford to lose the Aqua Ali the Federation's most advanced ship. We'll go on the Diplo and... Impossible. The Diplo would never make it through enemy territory and reach the planet. Even the Aqua Ellie alone is no match for such a foe. I can't allow you to risk your lives when there is no hope of success. Commodore? The Executioners are moving against our final line of defense. This will of the Creator, where our sins so, so unforgivable.
Calculate a course for evading their attack. Once we are out of the combat zone, proceed to sticks at max warp. Yes, sir. Course calculated. 112654.774. Good. Get us out of the combat zone. Top speed. Yes, sir. No enemies detected in the present area. Right. Looks like we've escaped them for now. You all should get a little more rest. Okay.
Commodore, 17 minutes to the planet Styx. We're picking up a strong energy reaction nearby. The Executioners. I'm afraid so, sir. <sighs> I am sorry, but it seems we will not be able to transport you down to the surface. You want us to give up? Please, I've said nothing of the sort. You'll go to Styx by shuttle before the Aqua Ellie enters orbit. Commodore, what about you and your crew? That's already been decided. We will use the Aqua Ellie to lure the Executioners away from you. You can't! That'd be suicide! Unfortunately, there is no other way. I apologize, we are unable to take you all the way. But don't worry. We won't sit here helplessly waiting for our destruction. They shall face the greatest power the Federation has. But... The old man's right. There's no other way. I'm afraid so. It's no use, big buddy. You can't stop him. Check out Gramps' eyes. Now that's the look of determination. A real man has to respect the decisions of another, right? Attention all crew members. The fate of the galaxy rests on the impending battle. Let us prove here and now that the Aqua Ellie's crew is the best in the Federation. This creator has sentenced us all to annihilation. Let us all stand together against him and live! with you, sir. We can take them, sir. Let's mess them up good, sir. Onward, my faithful comrades.
They're everywhere, as I expected. Everyone ready? Let's hurry to the time gate. Yeah! Let's go. Leave it to me. All right, I'm raring to go. <laughs> <laughs> 